we taking anything together? What? Okay. Okay. Uh, Wait, no, what are we? What are we just doing? We're sneaking down from the Hollywood sign. <laughs> Oh, there's a truck. Oh. Alright, so we're up at the Hollywood sign, which is kind of where we come and hang out as a family, and this is my, my LA YouTube family. Hello! Uh, Helicopter? It's my- out. Oh wait, turn off the light, turn off the light. Oh, is this, uh, is this oh. the one that goes over the Hollywood yeah. sign? Yeah. Turn off the light! Lately I've been feeling lower than a limbo stick and go Stressing out all about the things I know I can't control Everything is going, but not the way the handbook said Instead of living, I'm just drilling further into my own head But universe can be so It is Taylor's first week in Los Angeles, moving from Lower Alabama, one LA, to the other LA. How does it feel? Happiness. I figured that since Taylor was moving here from the other LA, that I should do some things that adjust her to being a little bit more of the new LA. There are certain things that are very, very specifically Los Angeles. Complaining about traffic on the 101, shopping at Trader Joe's, since Taylor is now living in Los Angeles. I think she needs to be integrated into my Los Angeles YouTube family. We have this very, very secret spot up near the Hollywood sign that pretty much nobody knows about. And we go up there late at night and we sit around in a circle and we just talk. We're gonna pass the camera around and we're gonna have everyone say their name and then one very interesting thing about themselves. Hi, my name is Alexa Losi, and one interesting thing about me is that I kind of rap on the side. Actually, getting kind of better. Hi, I'm Carly. I'm actually from San Francisco, but uh, one interesting thing about me, I like the smell of skunks. Hi, I'm um, I'm Rebecca Black. I think that's all I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I don't get it. Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Derek Bloom. I'm in a Jewish fraternity. Um, hey, I'm Jake. Um, I work in uh, TV and uh, all that fun stuff. Hey, I'm Dorian Deck, and I created a Twitter account with over 5 million followers, uh, OMG Facts. Shout YouTubers out. YouTubers cannot stop filming themselves. They film themselves, they film each other, filming each other. A little bit of an ego thing there. Hey guys, today I am going to the mall and maybe I'll buy a pair of shoes. Hey guys, today I'm hanging out with BFF Taylor and she's buying shoes. Ta-da! Ta and that's basically a YouTuber's life. Video blog. <laughs> I've never heard of that. What is it? Oh, it's like a written blog but with videos. Even my roommate is kind of internet famous. In a way. She's gotten hundreds of thousands of views. It's so. gone to her head. She's yeah. a diva. She really is a diva. Chilla and Taylor do not really get along. Since day one on our first date. No. I think Chilla's jealous. Girl, who's that new blonde in your life? Rat. Taylor loves Chilla, but I don't think Chilla loves Taylor. Chilla has diva-like qualities. I think she learned it from Caleb growing up. I wanted my two girls to get along, so Taylor and I went to PetSmart, and Taylor had a great idea. I suggested we get Chilla. See, it says chinchilla on it. It does say chinchilla on this, it. This big fun. Wouldn't that be amazing just like having her run around the house inside of this giant? You can get it by track and have them run around a track around the whole house. I think you should get it. Okay, I'm... It's a Christmas gift. Yes. Christmas gift for Chilla. Merry Christmas, Chilla. Hello. See, I'm not gonna hurt you. Isn't that fun? Yeah. How do you open this cage? I'm not kidding. I can't do it, Kayla! You can't get the, the cage open? Oh god. It's just a childproof cage, that's all. Shut up, Kayla. Whoa! You gonna get in? Go, 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 go! Run, run, run! It's like chill erasing. Chilla! <laughs> You're such a diva. I wonder where she gets it from. This is her secret passage through the bookshelves. Hey, Miss Diva. Yeah, you.
You think she enjoyed it? I think she enjoyed it. You think she likes you more now because you got her something fun? No, because she kept rejecting me. <laughs> One of the very, very specific Southern California things is in and out So one of the first things that you have to do whenever you move to California is go to the traditional Californian restaurant, in and out Which, that's why I'm taking um, Taylor and Hunter there right now. I'm not talking to you. Why? You turned off Taylor Swift. No, I haven't actually had in and out in probably, when was it? 2009? I think in three years I even had in and out because I just, I didn't like it. Everyone in California says it's so good. Because it's really good. That's what everyone says. So maybe I just had a really bad <laughs> in and out experience. <laughs> I'm sick. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just quoting the movie. He's been doing that all day. He thinks it's funny. It's not funny. The first week of me living in LA, actually the first two weeks of me living in LA, I was sick as can be. You can ask any of my friends, I'm never sick. And then I got sick. <laughs> and Caleb made fun of me. You are not funny. I'm still mad at you. It's a Mean Girls reference. Mean Girls references are always funny. That when was the last time you actually saw Mean Girls, Caleb? Um, probably two weeks ago. I watch Mean Girls all the time. You sit there and watch Mean Girls by yourself? Yes, I do. Mean Girls is my favorite movie ever. Oh, oh mermaid. I watch it a lot. Now I'm trying not to cough. Cause <laughs> I'll make fun of you. <coughs> She's sick. What's your review of in and out Yeah. Yeah. The fries are disgusting. Okay. They're literal, just ew. Okay, you are not a true Californian. Uh, I haven't tried mine yet, so. Like cardboard. Okay, this is not making me look forward to trying my dinner here. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying the In N Out burger for the first time in probably three years, and uh, if my review changed. Okay, this is a really good burger. I probably shouldn't have made fun of you when you were sick because. Karma has the strange way of biting in the butt, serving this one's interests. After I made fun of you for days and days and days and continued quoting Mean Girls, <laughs> I'm sick. All of a sudden, just a few days before my big book release that I'd been waiting on for years, I came down with the absolute worst flu that I've ever had in my entire life. So the flu was like, hey, I hear you have a book coming out this weekend. Let's be best friends. This is not very fun at all. I still have a ton of work to do before the book comes out, and um, I'm stuck in bed. Luckily, I expected this to happen because every other book release I've had, I've been sick on. My last book release, I had terrible food poisoning. The book is still gonna come out this weekend. I just have to fake smile as much as I can during the interviews. <laughs> so yeah, so I've spent most of the past two days laying here in bed, lamenting my sorrows. I think you cursed me. You know what? It's what you get for making fun of me. This here is the final, final draft of Harkin, ready to go to the stores. And uh, down here at the bottom, as you can see, I have the names of the first 3,000 people who signed up at readharkin.com, which I promised to put in the acknowledgments of the book. So there's all your special acknowledgments right there. So this is what you will be reading. So even though I have the flu and I look terrible and probably sound even worse, um, I still have to do what I'm about to do over here on my computer, which is pretty important to the process of getting Harkin out. Here's the file for Harkin, and here we go. I say that a lot, I don't know what's gonna happen, and I think that's some of the some of the the thrill of it, is I really don't know what's gonna happen. I think people are gonna love it, because it's a really good book. Legitimately. I can't wait. The reptiles. Ah! Hey guys, I'm Brian Forsetti, hanging out here with Caleb Nation. <laughs> All right, let's just talk for a minute about the fact that Taylor needs two boxes of 50 hangers each to fit her clothes. I think it was last year, I was actually in a Megan and Liz music video. Yes, yes, love, 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 love. 